So today what I wanted to do was I wanted to give you a after the fact kind of review of my Nordace Sienna bag because I was so excited when I got it in the mail. Um, I saw all these videos, I kind of stocked them for a couple years. It was a little bit more than I wanted to spend on a backpack and that's why I didn't buy it forever. But I love this backpack. So um, I have used it, I've gone to two plane trips with just this. Um, so I feel like I've, I've used it to kind of its full extent because I didn't bring a suitcase. I put everything in here and just as they promised, everything that they said would fit into this bag did fit. And I'll show you that video. I'll post the link below because I did do that video of all the stuff that fits in this bag. But I just want to give you a quick recap of how I feel about it. If I still am in love with it after all those, a couple trips. So First of all, I want to show you, like, the, one of the great things about this is, like, it has so many pockets in organization, and I am an organizer. So I like to have everything in its, in its place, and even within the pockets, there's pockets, and um, you go in the front pocket, there's a back pocket here, which is, uh, the front pocket actually is waterproof, so you can put all of your uh, toiletries and things in there, and then there's more pockets, so many pockets. The back one is really just for a laptop, and again, one of the, really the only downsides is this just does not feel that secure, so I do use a laptop case here. But I really only had two things that I didn't like about this bag, so I wanted to talk about those. It really wasn't this, because I do feel like I can extra pad my, my computer, that's fine. The two things I did not like about this pad, uh, bag. One thing, this hook, just feels really really flimsy and for this super high quality bag it's just so surprising to me that they would just put a little strip on here and maybe i'm wrong because it hasn't broken and that's fine but i want to show you what it kind of looks like when i hang it up with a lot of weight in it because it just it feels like it's going to tear off at any moment and when you're in a bathroom or something and you're hanging it up you are just praying that it's not going to fall and it gets all over that bathroom floor in the airport because and then, you know, that would be kind of disgusting. So that was one of the two things I did not like about this bag. If you look really closely, I just put a bunch of books in here to kind of show you what it's like when it's full, but I feel like the threads are coming out of this. And every time I see this, like again, in a bathroom or something, it just feels like this is just gonna tear out. Like there's no other way to hang this bag up. And I feel like it's just, it just feels really flimsy. And maybe it's not, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. But this is just the other thing I just didn't love about it. The second thing, and I'll show you in just a second, but the second thing I really didn't like about this bag was you can't really make it a day pack. Like it's a really, really good trip bag to put all of your stuff in, kind of act as a suitcase, but the shape of it is not really sufficient as a day pack because it just sticks out no matter what. Even if you have nothing in it, it just feels like it's giant on your back. So I could just be making this up in my head, but it just feels like because of the shape of this, it just doesn't make a great day pack. Like I like to have a pretty small backpack if I'm going into a museum or a store or something because they don't love it when you have these giant big bags and it just feels like it's bulky. There's literally nothing in this bag right now and it's still pretty much as big as it normally is when it has a whole bunch of stuff in there. So again, I might just be making that up in my head and it might just be a preference, but Something to consider if you're looking to purchase this bag. Uh, th those two things obviously were not enough to not like this bag. I would still absolutely recommend it. I was being cheap when I bought it and I got the, um, the one instead of the two and it has a USB and everything I own now is a USB-C so I probably should have upgraded to the Sienna 2. But again, I was being a little cheap and this was on sale. But Everything else about this bag, I absolutely love. So if you are looking to buy it and you're kind of on the fence because it's a little bit more money and you're like, well, they spend a lot on ads. Is that why they sell so many? No, I actually think it's because this is an amazing quality bag and is made for travel and is perfect for travel, except for as a day pack. <laughs> So um, let me know if you have any questions about this because I watched so many videos before I purchased it, again, because it was some something of an investment and I just didn't know if I could trust people or not. I'm not sponsored on this at all. I bought this with my own money um, and I, I would recommend it to anybody. So let me know if you have any questions about that. Don't forget to subscribe below as well so maybe I can pay this off one day. <laughs> and uh, yeah, let me know if you have any questions.